man. Knew the Bible well. Uh, loved his kids. And what you saw on TV is what he was at home. Today, friends and family came together to remember a man who loved the outdoors. A man who shared that love with Southeast Texas for decades. Billy Halfin. Billy was a fixture here on 12 News with his outdoors reports from the 80s into the 2000s. It was impossible to miss his love of fishing and hunting, but his family says his love for humanity ran even deeper. He loved hunting and fishing and loved the kids, loved hunting and fishing with his friends, my friends, whoever. A good and gracious man who loved people. And when he did his shows, there was never a script and there's never a retake, never had a retake. It was all one take, no script. So he, it came from here. One by one, Billy Halfin's family offered remembrances. On the weekends, my dad would take us fishing with him. His granddaughter, Lindsay Hunt. If, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't know how to shoot a gun, fish, frogging, anything outdoors. I mean, that man taught me everything that I needed, I needed to know. His granddaughter, Emily. He had the perfect pawpaw personality. Um, like you mentioned, he, he, everyone has a fun story of Billy Halfin. Um, that's what we got, but we got, <laughs> we got the pawpaw version, um, so we got picked on a lot. Brand Halfin says his granddad always treated people with respect. He, uh, you know, was very witty, smart, knew, uh, he knew just about everything, <clears throat> excuse me, about the outdoors, you know, uh, hunting, fishing. He knew it all. Perhaps no one shared that love as much as Halfin's protege, Charlie Holder. Hey, Billy got me involved in the outdoor and the media business when I was 20 years old, and we ran together for 15 years. We did the radio show together. We did Channel 12. Holder says they made a lot of outdoors reports. Everywhere you can imagine, fishing, hunting, the beach, the lakes. Um, we, we deer hunted up in East Texas, North Texas. Um, we fished Louisiana. We went all over um, to cover the stories for Channel 12 and uh, for, for over a decade. And Halfin always made sure to share that love for the outdoors. If a kid wanted to go hunting and fishing, that he would make sure that they got to go, whether their parents had the funds, resources, or money or not. As Charlie put it, Billy knew everybody, and everybody loved him. Billy Halfin was 87.